hello. So I'm just going to be showing off the robot design that I did in, I don't know, five days for this game. So the strategy for this game was to try to fill a particular niche and then do it really well. So this is kind of the robot design that did it. So the main things that it features is, is this is kind of incomplete since I got it done kind of late and I'm done with the CAD for now, but it features a ground intake, a ground coral intake that is continuous into a funnel. And then this goes directly into a two stage elevator. This two stage elevator can go up and down. And this allows us to score into L2 and L3. We also have this wheel on the end and this allows us to remove the algae relatively efficiently, which is nice. Um, besides that, I don't know, everything's pretty detailed out if you ignore the intake, but we just have some star wheel centering the main purpose of making this intake really long is just to try to make it really easy for us to kind of pick up the coral from any orientation. Because if you try doing a traditional over the bumper, what you usually find is that it jams on the bumper and you have to try to lift it up really high vertically. So this trying to this is the idea to try to solve it. Um, this intake kind of weighs a lot. It weighs like 20 pounds, but if I had extra time, I'd probably be able to reduce it a lot, but yeah. The end effector is pretty light though. This thing's only like four pounds. Yeah, 4.31. Um, but yeah, it just kind of goes up and down. We have a steel belly pan. And yeah, there's not too much to it. Yeah. Besides that, um, we can put the robot down here. Let me. I think it's fixed in place. Yep, it's already fixed in place. Um, one second. So, wheel for descoring, and then it kind of just pops it out, and then you go up. And then same idea, wheel goes up, spins, descores it, or not descores it, removes it, and then you can score coral. I don't think the geometry is perfect, but it's pretty much good enough. Before a quick CAD, I'd probably spend more time optimizing it. But yeah, intake can also kind of just sit at source, but I don't really want to move the robot right now. But yeah. I guess in terms of specific features, we're using just a standard two-stage cascade using the STS blocks and 50 bot rigging. Um, it's powered by two Krakens on, I think it's like a 12 tooth to like 72. I don't know, I like guess the numbers. Then on the end effector, we're using the new Kraken X44s. They aren't in stock though, but that's okay. But this allows me to save like a pound off the robot-ish and it's also pocketed a ton just that um, we save weight on the end effector. For the indexer, the indexer is powered by two Krakens, which is a little bit overkill, but I was just being lazy. But this allows me to do a speed differentiate, like I can change the speed individual of each side or change the direction, so I don't know what's actually necessary, but that's kind of why it exists. For the intake, it's powered by a Kraken. And then there's a direction swap down here that's not done yet, but the idea is that you have both sides that are powered and then you can kind of slurp it up really slowly at a very steep, at a, not a steep angle, but like a very shallow angle. And that allows you to slurp it up a little bit easier. I think I would also add a polycarb, like a polycarb hood on top, but I just don't have enough time. So yeah. Um, besides that, um, the reason for the live axle over here is just because I was trying to design a dead axle, but it was actually heavier. 
So the live axle just works fine. I think I saved like 0. 0.3 pounds, something like that. Um, and then for the X44s, I just had to add extra gearing to compensate for that. The battery is just on this side, just because um, it was easy for me to put it there. I think it would have been nice if it if I could put it under the indexer so that I could counterbalance it better, but that sounds kind of hard to access. So we have the battery here. And the nice thing about this robot is we have plenty of electrical space to work in, so it's not too hard to see. Uh, I guess in terms of strategy, so it's like the idea is that we score from L1 to L3 and do nothing else and we kind of fill that specific niche and you do it really well since the center of gravity is really low and then that, and because of that the match flow is very simple it's like we take off one algae at auto take off two when the match starts the human player dumps like a million coral and then you score coral for the rest of the match and the driver doesn't have to think about anything since it's a very easy flow is just to pick up the coral, score it, pick up the coral, score it. And then kind of an idea is that if you get really, really good at scoring coral, which has the most points anyway, you'll be able to just win all your matches and that allows you to do pretty well in your ranking because if you win all of your matches, you average the RP. Add the auto and that's one extra RP and that's four RP average. If your teammates decide to do algae for some reason, you can get an extra RP. But I'm just planning on skipping climb because the robot actually just doesn't have the weight left in order to climb. We're at 113 pounds right now. So, oh well. Um, yeah, besides that... What else is there to say? Yeah, this game is really hard. Like, it's going to be difficult for you to try to, like, do everything, but, like, optimized. Because it's really, like, even the simple things, like scoring L2, L3, it's really hard to optimize and do well. So, my only advice is try to pick, like, one or two things you want to get good at, and then just get really, really good at those things. Because the difficult part about this game is that every single part of this game is easy. So you try to do all of it, and then that makes it hard instead. Or it's easy to achieve, but it's hard to optimize. And, I mean, yeah, that's the robot for you. Uh, the pocketing isn't great, but that's just because I'm lazy and I just needed the weight reduced. Uh, yeah. I don't know. If you have any questions, ask in the description. And uh, good luck on your season.